Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Julie and today I'm going to show you how I highlighted my own hair using a cap and a hook like they used to do in the old days. The old days? I'm 51 years old. This is how we learned how to do it and how we used to do it in the salon, how I used to get it done um, before I learned how to do foils. So I'm going to show you the process. I hope you stick with me, resonate with me and you like this content. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button, hit the like button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on any new videos. And let's get started. So you can see where the line is. I don't need to highlight too much. Um, I'm just gonna put the bleach right here where it's starting to get dark. First, get yourself a cap. By the way, I don't recommend that you do this on your own. I'm a licensed hairstylist. I feel confident doing this. My hair is also a natural level seven. So it's naturally a ginger or a, a golden blonde and it's easy to lighten. But if you're darker than me, then you run the risk of having it become brassy and not lifting it to the level of lightness that you want. And then you have to pretty much guess what kind of toner you need. So in my case, I lighten it enough that I don't even need a toner. I'll use a purple shampoo when I wash it out and it looks just fine. That little disclaimer being said, if you cannot afford to go to the hairdresser or if you're just determined to do it on your own or if you just don't have time, I'd like to tell you the best ways to do it so that you don't make a mistake. So I got my cap on Amazon. This came with a bunch of them. You can get them that they come with hooks, but these are the hooks that I purchased. These are Color Track highlighting needles and they're different sizes. So there is a one millimeter, a 1.25 millimeter and a uh, the blue is 1.5 millimeter. If I use a thicker one around the hairline, you run the risk of being able to see that chunk and I don't like that. So that's why I'll go with the thinner one around the, or the finer one around the hairline and then I'll move to the medium one as I move back. Of course, my hair doesn't look that bad today. <laughs> that figures, it always happens. It's really important for me to see these areas brightened and in through the part line. So I'm gonna pop that on make it nice and snug because you want it as tight to your scalp as you can so that you get as close to the scalp as you can with your bleach. I have a magnifying mirror right here so that I can really see exactly where that hair is directed. I want this nice and bright around my hairline. So I'm gonna pull every hole. The last time I actually pulled every hole throughout the whole head and it worked out really well. So I may actually do that. If you have someone to help you around the back area, it is so much easier. I oftentimes don't, but I have had my children help me. I've had my husband help me. It's pretty hard to mess it up. What I'm doing right now is I'm gonna take the fine part of my comb and I'm going to comb through because you don't wanna have any loops in your hair. There's a circle with a hole and then in between the circles, there's another little hole. I'm going into every hole. This is how they used to do it when I was first getting my hair highlighted years ago. And everybody complained of how badly it hurt. I think it really depends on how silky your hair is, how gentle your hairstylist is or was, because they don't do this anymore really. But for my hair, there's no need to be very particular with foils because it's just one color all over. I don't have any gray to cover. It's a pretty basic highlight. I'm gonna just speed through this, guys, until I can think of any other tips for you. Careful around your ears. And see here, it's kind of bubbled right there. So I'm gonna pull it down nice and tight. And I can even stretch that out a little bit so that I can get a hold of that hair. Otherwise, it kind of runs away from you. So I can see that my hair is going this way. So I'm gonna put the hook this way and pull it out. If I went in on this angle, I wouldn't be able to grab it properly. So I'm kind of going to go underneath. I'm not sure if you can see, but there's some loops right there. Really important to get those out. If you can't get your comb, make sure to get your crochet hook in there and get those hooks out, especially if you have darker hair than me, because you will really see those that look like spots. It's not that I don't want to spend the money to get my hair done. I just know I can do it myself. And when I want my hair done is when they're closed. Like I do this at nighttime or on a Sunday because I'm working too. So it's hard to find time to get my hair done. And I'm a little bit antsy. I, I don't like sitting there that long, which is funny because I am a hairstylist. So you would think 
that that environment would be really fun for me. But I can just think of all the other things that I could be doing. Like once I pull this through and put my bleach on, I can go do other things in my house. Yeah, and I can feel that pulling more hair through, which is great. That's what you wanna feel. This hole's too low to grab anything, but I know I want some brightness here. So I'll actually poke a hole through myself. It's not that easy, but I will. I'll poke that little hole through so that I can get that there you go, bright piece right at the front. This piece here too, I want that brighter. I'm gonna go in at a different angle and see if I can grab some more hair. And no luck, there we go. Because this is my part that's really important to me that that's nice and bright. These plastic pieces make it look like I have dandruff. Oh, it's flying. <laughs> So it doesn't look like I have help today. So when I get to the back, I'm actually gonna take myself into the bathroom and look in a mirror and try to do it that way. I have done it before. It's a pain in the butt, but I can do it. And that way I can see the holes really easy and just get it done quickly. My clock says 15 minutes, but I think that was actually me talking as well and not pulling. I'm just gonna clip that out of the way. Let me get a little bit closer so that you guys can see what I'm doing. The hair is all coming down this way, so I'm gonna go in this way. And see what happens when I'm to that area. If I don't hold it down, it kind of gets caught on the bag. <laughs> And that's no good. Okay, I'm switching my hook. I have more hair back here anyway, so I'm okay if it's a little bit thicker. You know what, I don't even think it's pulling thicker there. When I pull this out, you should be able to see that this area is lighter and this area is darker. And that's where I'm gonna put the bleach, just right here. It's all gonna blend in the end. So I'm not gonna worry about pulling it through because then if I do that, my mid shaft and ends are gonna be lighter and this is still gonna look darker than the rest of them. Now that I've switched hooks, actually it's coming out easier in those kind of puffy areas. I think I just needed to change the hooks so I could grab more hair. Oh, I lied. If you don't get every hole, don't worry about it. By the way, if your hair is finer than mine, don't do every hole. You have to really pay attention to the density of your hair and the amount of hair that you have. So I have a lot of hair, but it's fine. There's a lot of people that comment on the amount of time that I leave my bleach on. I am a natural ginger. If you're a natural redhead or ginger, it makes sense that your hair is gonna take longer for it to lighten. Red is a very strong pigment. Lots of holes, eh? Are we getting close? I guess you have to do down here too. Yay, thank you. I just wanna make sure that everything's pulled through. He always does a good job, but you know, you never know. Okay, so you need a bowl like this. Plastic bowl works better. Don't use a metal bowl, it will react with the bleach. I have a scale. If you don't have a kitchen scale, use a measuring cup. And what we're gonna do is do two to one. So one part bleach and two parts developer. Any bleach will work. I'm gonna use Schwarzkopf Vario Plus. I also love Schwarzkopf Blonde Me, but I couldn't find that. So that might be the one that I would choose. It has a bonding agent in it. Um, my other videos do use that as well. And I really like it. I'm going to use the dedicated developer. This is Schwarzkopf and I'm gonna use 20 volume. I would never go above 20 volume unless you have really coarse dark hair. But again, if you have really coarse dark hair, I probably wouldn't recommend that you do this at all by yourself. So we're gonna zero this out. So it looks like this. I always mix too much bleach. So I'd rather have too much than too little. So I've got 20 mils of bleach and then I'm gonna do 40 mils of developer. So that will equal 60. I am horrible at math. Mixing it up with a spatula is the best idea rather than using your brush. I have two brushes, so I'm gonna mix it with one brush and then I'm gonna use the other brush to apply. Just keeps everything really nice and neat. And you wanna make sure it looks as smooth as cake batter. You don't want any lumps or bumps in there. So take your time, 
Make sure that it's all mixed up really well. Some people will use a little whisk. I don't do that because I don't like a lot of air in my bleach. It already naturally expands. I don't want to make it expand even more. And you can see that it's nice and creamy now. YouTube isn't allowing me for whatever reason to put my links in my description box. So what I'm going to do is pin a comment with the links for these products. I don't know if I can find you a link for the Vario Blonde Plus. I will be able to find you a link for the Schwarzkopf Blonde Me though. And you'll see the caps and the um, hooks there for you as well. Wear an old t-shirt or something. This has bleach marks on it already. That's why I have it on. And also buy a cape. You can buy a cape at Sally's. I'm gonna leave probably a link for you for a cape also on Amazon. Just make sure to protect yourself. Also get yourself some gloves. Make sure to start with the clean work area. I didn't and it's, an, it's a mess. Okay, some gloves. Now I'm gonna set this one aside and use a clean brush. Um, I'm gonna lift this up and you can see that the darkness is about an inch. I know that's not much, but that bothers me. So I'm just gonna apply it to the inch of my hair and away we go. And I make sure to get both sides just to make sure it's fully saturated. When it's fully saturated, it will lighten faster. Bleach will stop working when it dries out and you don't want that to happen. We're gonna put a bag over this anyway. You don't wanna run the risk of it drying out. The more saturated the hair is, the better it's gonna lift. I always do this. I always do the front first and I really shouldn't because the back actually is thicker and denser. So it's gonna take longer. However, it's the front that I want nice and bright. So when you look at it that way, it's all fine. And I'm gonna try to work with speed, so it's not gonna be on much longer than the back anyways. And when you think about it, when your hairstylist does foils on your hair, that first foil is on for a long time compared to that last foil. People kind of stress over the timing of this, but it actually takes longer to do a foil highlight. And then one part of your hair has been on for longer than the rest of your hair. Now to the back. It's hard for me to see when I'm trying to allow you to see. <laughs> but this I go by feel. I just have to. It's always worked out. You can kind of feel where it's cold on the scalp. And again, my hair is naturally light, so if it messes up a little bit, it's not going to be that obvious. If you have darker hair, it will be obvious. So be careful when you decide if you're going to do this or not. I am gonna put a plastic bag on this. I'm actually gonna put a grocery bag on here. I'm gonna set the timer for 45 minutes, but I know my hair. If you are doing this and you've never done it before, please check it after 20 minutes, make sure. Don't panic though. If your hair is strong and healthy and has good elasticity and it's still at a yellow and you want it to be a pale yellow. Oh, I need to explain that to you. Um, what I'm looking for when I check this is a pale yellow. I'm a natural level seven. I know I can get it to a pale yellow. When I get it to that color, I don't need to tone it. I just use a purple shampoo. If you don't get it to the color you want, then you're gonna have to tone it. Um, but for me, I like a little bit of gold because I'm a natural ginger and I don't look good with ashy colors. If you want an ashy color, then you're gonna have to tone it either way because you can't lighten your hair enough for it to be ashy. What you're looking for when you wash it off is that it looks like the inside of a banana. Um, if it's white, it's dead. It's gonna break off. So you're not looking to get it white. Don't try to do that. You're trying to get it to that pale yellow and then if you have to, then tone it afterwards to the color that you want, okay? So I'm gonna wrap this up, beautiful and professional. <laughs> if you're starting off with hair that has already been colored, don't do this. When you try to lighten hair that's already been colored, it's a totally different animal. So my hair, I've only ever had bleach on it. I don't have any color on it. So it's gonna lift evenly and I don't have to worry about it breaking through any artificial color. Don't add heat. The bottle says don't add heat, don't add heat. It just makes the bleach expand, makes your cuticle expand. It's not as healthy for your hair. It doesn't need it. What's needed is time, so don't add heat. 
but I have to say that I have added heat to my mom. She's a natural level five and she has very strong hair, but she has very healthy hair as well. And we couldn't get it past a certain point that I needed it to. So I added a bit of heat at the end and it got it to the color that we wanted it to. So, but I knew her hair could handle it. It still made me nervous, but it handled it just fine. And her hair was great. What else? Now there was a question on one of my other videos of how do you get it off easily? You can wash your hair first before taking the cap off and add a little bit of conditioner, run your fingers through the hair with the conditioner on, then pull that cap off, then give your hair a good wash afterwards and then you can tone it or use your purple shampoo. That's all I can think of for now. I'll be back. Okay, it's been 45 minutes. I just wanna show you how I check it. It should be good, but we'll see. Uh, I should have a glove on, but of course I don't. So I'm going to take a towel, pick a piece here, and wet it. Because the bleach is blue, makes it kind of hard to see the actual color. So that's why I wet it first. And you can see that that is light. Aha, exactly how I want it. So the color is looking like the inside of a banana. So I'm gonna go rinse it off. I'm gonna wash it off and I'm gonna use my purple shampoo and I'll be back to show you what it looks like all styled. Okay, I'm back. I'm not gonna bother curling it today. It is Sunday and I'm just gonna relax for the rest of the day. But I just wanted to check in and show you what this looks like. So you can see that the blonde is all going right to the root now and that's gonna help me so much when it comes to getting volume in my hair and having it stay in the position that I want it to stay in. There you can see that it's all at the, at the root there. So I'm hoping that you can see there as well that it all connects. So even though you might think that it's not gonna connect because you're only touching that one inch at the root, don't worry, it will all blend in the end. Let me show you the back, hold on. So I hope that looks good. <laughs> I haven't looked at it yet. So there you have it. I just saved myself a couple of hundred dollars at least. I really like it. Again, my hair is easy, but if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. I am a licensed hairstylist. I can help answer anything that you may come up with. If you like this video, please hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. I am a professional makeup artist and hairstylist. I'm 51 years old and I bring you all things beauty, sometimes fashion as well. That I'm just learning though. I hope this helps and I will see you later. Bye.